Mr. Heck. Mrs. Heck, great to see you both. Yeah. Hope you're having a fantastic Valentine's Day. Why are you guys here? Yeah, what happened? Mr. Heck, outstanding job on the pool table. On behalf of the whole neighborhood, thank you. You're welcome, Sean. Glad you're having fun. Mrs. Heck, looking beautiful as always. Did you hear that, Mike? He just, never mind. So what are you boys up to? We're getting our school on. We got this humongous science project. It's worth like half our grade, so I'm not gonna be able to do any chores this week. Mm, we'll try to get by. Little Brickster, always a pleasure to see you. You want a candy bar? Here, I got another one. Oh, I wish I could, but I don't want to break the law. What do you mean? It's not illegal for you to eat candy. But my mom said. Oh, yeah. Can I get this? Put that down, Brick. Why? Because the, uh, the president outlawed candy for kids under 10. You lied to me? My own mother lied to me? Listen, Brick, here's the thing. Do you know how many letters I wrote to the president? He probably thinks I'm crazy. Crazy. Wait, you lied, but your hair didn't fall out. Is that a lie, too? Join the club. She once told me kids who talk during Wheel of Fortune go blind. Brick, come on, I'm sorry. Mom, you said you'd drive me to babysitting. She says a lot of things. Sean? If you have an older brother, you're eventually going to develop a crush on one of his friends. For Sue, it happened this summer. I'm heading out. I could give you a lift on my way home. Let's go. I'll ride in the front seat. Unless you need to put your books in the front seat, and then I'll ride in the back seat. Uh, uh, I'll just wing it. <laughs> If anyone needs me, I'll be in Sean's car. Only the cream of the crop becomes a lifeguard at my pool. It's a job for winners. Hey, Axel. Hear about Jack Weber? No more flip-flops for him, huh? Yeah. Bob, don't you already have, like, three jobs? Well, raising carrier pigeons is an expensive hobby. So how's it looking? Think we got a shot? Safe to say Axel was feeling pretty good about his competition until... Oh, hey. Check out the Axeman. Wanting to guard the lifes. Sean, what are you doing here? Same as you, bro. And then Axel heard the worst thing a Donahue could say to a heck. May the best man win. <laughs> Surprise! I'm here to take you to prom. What? Yeah, my mom was talking to your mom, and she was saying how no one had asked you to prom yet, and how crazy that was. So my mom said it might be nice if you take her, and I said, are you kidding me? I'd do anything for Susie Q. You're like family. Oh, wow, Sean. That is so incredibly nice. Actually, the funny thing is... Yeah, <laughs> my car broke down twice on the way down here from Notre Dame, but I got it fixed, and I had to ask a professor to move a big test, and I'm missing my fraternity photo, but I said, I don't care. <laughs> I'm taking Sue to her prom. So, here I am. <laughs> well, great! Yay! Yeah. Hey, Sue! Excited for next Saturday? I was just getting ready to pick up your corsage. Hope you like gardenias. Actually, Sean, about that, I'd really appreciate you asking me. Like, you have no idea how much that means to me. And I think it would be really fun to go together. But somehow, I ended up with four other dates to prom. So unfortunately, I won't be able to go with you. Oh, wow. But it's not like I had four other dates when you asked me. I had one. But of all the people that I'm not going with, you are really my favorite. Okay, yeah, no problem. That's cool. I'll, I'll just, I guess I'll just head on back up to school. It's a six-hour drive, so I won't get back in time for the fraternity photo. But hey, there's always next year. <laughs> Thank you so much for understanding, Sean. I am so, so sorry. Hey, no problem. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Heck. I'm here to help. We need a lot of help. What uh, kind of help are you talking about? With the freezer. Axel called and said you needed a hand and that he's got something going on this weekend, so you give me. What? No, no, no. Axel's moving the freezer. It's not a problem. I'm in town anyway helping my Nana vacuum pack her winter sweaters and take them up to the attic. Besides, you're like a second dad to me. I'd do anything for you. Well, I'm Axel's first dad, and I need my first son to get his lazy butt home to help out. Mr. Heck, have I done something to upset you? 
Was it because of that time you were out of town for a few days and I came over and mowed your lawn without asking? No, Sean, you're great. A little messy around the bushes, but feel free to mow again in the future. You're not the problem here. It's somebody else. I'm sorry, Doris. I can't take you back to my house. This is your home now. Sean, just go. Hi, Susie Q. I've got good news. Someone I know is going to her prom. What? Well, my mom was talking to your mom, and she said you didn't have a date. So I rescheduled a test and bailed on the intramural flag football championship and drove straight down here from Notre Dame because I was not about to let Sue Heck not go to her senior prom. Oh, um, Sean, that is so nice. So nice. But someone I work with actually asked me to prom, and I said yes. Oh, OK. That's fine. I'll just drive back. I might stop by and have a little chat with my mom about communication first, but it's all good. The important thing is you're going to prom with someone else. I am so, so sorry. I really do. Nope, that's OK. I'm a Donahue. I will smile through this, because we smile through everything. OK, well, um, I'm so sorry again. I'm so sorry. So nice. Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh, sorry. Uh, Lexi, this is Sean Donahue. Sean, this is my roommate, Lexi. Donahue? Wait, I know that name. Your mom sends Sue those care packages. Tell her her scones are amazing. Yeah, yeah. She'll tell you it's the love, but it's really the five pounds of butter. <laughs> is my right hand bleeding? Because it feels like blood, but I can't really see. You know, uh, Axel and I were going to go grab some food later. You should come. I mean, you should both come. Oh, sounds great. <laughs> Surprise! Sean, hey, what are you doing here? Axel's not around. Uh, I know, I actually came for you. Really? I seem to recall somebody wanted to go to the Chancellor's Ball. Wait, who told you? How did you know about that? You did. Back when I was over here helping you with your desk, you were saying you weren't sure if you were gonna go because you didn't have a date. And I was walking on my campus yesterday and it was really warm and pretty out. And I remember this word you made up when we were young to describe days like that where it suddenly is warm again. spring alicious. Spring -alicious. <laughs> and, and it made me think of you. And I was like, why am I thinking of Sue right now? And then I remembered this is your weekend. So, Susie Q, on this beautiful spring alicious occasion, may I have the honor of escorting you to the Chancellor's Ball. <laughs> Oh, Sean, don't you have a cell phone? You could call ahead first. I actually have a date. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't call because I thought the surprise would be nice. That was dumb. I just figured third time was the charm, you know? You're, you're gonna owe me for tux rentals if I keep this up. <laughs> but hey, the important thing is that you're happy. I just wanted to make sure you had a chance to go. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have to go already? Why don't you stay a while? We could get a pizza or hang out or something. I promise I won't make you put together any more furniture. <laughs> I, no, I, no, I, it's okay. I should get back to Orson, spend some time with my folks before going up to school and, um, yeah. Have fun at the ball, Susie Q. You deserve it. Oh, but, Mike. X. Sean? Sue! Sue! Sean? What are you doing here? Is everything okay? I was at the airport to go to Ghana and I found this in my bag. Oh, uh, yeah, I put it in there as a goodbye gift. This is a long way to come to thank me, Sean. No, 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 no. you don't understand. I bought this for you last year. How did you end up with it? I found it in the trash at my apartment. That's where I threw it out after Axel told me you were dating someone. Axel, did you tell Sean I was dating someone? I thought you were there for Lexi. I told you I liked Sue on New Year's Eve. I thought you were drunk. Why didn't you tell me you liked me on New Year's I, Eve? I don't know. I thought you were with that Aiden guy, so I tried to woo you by leaving you the balloons and the snowdrifts and the flowers. That was you? Oh, my bad. I gave the flowers to Cindy. That is so frustrating! 
Mark Stu, people traveled the whole world to find their soulmate, but mine has been right across the street all along. I don't know when I started feeling this way. Maybe it was when my mom forced me to hold your hand at the zoo so you wouldn't get lost. I don't know. But what I know is that when we kissed, it was the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Everything about you makes me happy. The way you think, the way you smile, you get excited about everything. The muffin you just ate, the smell of chalk. You are walking sunshine and I feel like a complete idiot for wasting a single minute by not telling you that. So now you know how I feel, but you gotta tell me, what does this mean for you? Did you give this to me because I'm your brother's friend or because I'm your neighbor? I need you to be super clear with me here, Sue, because obviously we're not very good about being clear. Is this clear enough? I love you, Sue. I love you so much back. 